when forces loyal to King John undermined Rochester Castle, it spelled doom for the rebels inside. Within days, they had surrendered. But the rebel barons weren't done yet. Their ally, Prince Louis of France, had sent an invasion force to help the barons overthrow King John. Then in late 1216, the king fell ill with dysentery and died. His son, just nine years old, was crowned King Henry III. It was now up to the young king's regent, the 70-year-old legendary knight William Marshall, to protect the crown. He faced a near impossible challenge. England was crumbling. Rebels were taking town after town. But William Marshall bided his time and prepared to defeat the rebels. Then in May 1217, he got the chance that he'd been waiting for. William discovered that the rebels planned to simultaneously besiege both Dover Castle and Lincoln Castle. With rebel forces split and weakened, William Marshall led his royalist army to Lincoln. The castle on one side of the city was still controlled by royalists, under its formidable constable, Lady Nicola de la Haye. But the streets of the city were under rebel control. On May 20th, 1217, the Royalist Relief Force, led by William Marshall, arrived to retake the rebel-controlled city. The future of England rode on the success of this mission. Troops loyal to the King held the castle at Lincoln, while outside, rebels controlled the city. The defenders had to hold the castle until reinforcements arrived under the command of the King's Knight, William Marshall. Reporting, Alexander, for the host 
King's knight William Marshall arrived with his forces. While a hard battle remained, there was now hope for the young king's army. In order to liberate the city surrounding the castle, William Marshall commanded the king's men to destroy the military buildings belonging to the rebels. William Marshall's forces were welcomed in Stowe, a nearby town loyal to the king. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
men tore through the rebel fortifications, diminishing the enemy's military presence. The castle now faced a new attack from the rebels' French allies. The king's army had almost regained control of the city. The King's army raised the last of the rebels' military buildings, but the French siege continued. If the King's men hoped to lift the French siege, they would need to destroy the enemy forts on the outskirts of Lincoln. Ready to go. We are awaiting for the Hester's villain. Ready to go. Here, 
ready for the next worker on for all. There is Wooda, yeah, yeah. Ired. Intended. Arita every chat, there are Ija. In no they stop until this is all. That's this common. Shitting. Bone shall straining our way to be the headset on Sal of Shah. Ready to go. Here a face, very new. Think he'll get this building he built it for they. He bought away the kit is he built it and build it. A coil, hard to have no nerve to do. For the next worker of the ruler. Uncovered one of the French forces' siege camps near Lincoln.
dead? Good at horns, druid weapons. Push it on my men. Adhere to Hestus. Ah, oh shit, on the roof. Seek far the past of weak pieces. Push it, our way, I'm here at the headset. Be wet enough to good sir. It's our way. <laughs> The king's army tore through the French fort, weakening the enemy siege. Yeah, intended. Yes, Arita. Intended. Building to put an up. Yes, Be ready for the next worker, a steering sword. Art, we have an end. Art, yeah, on the enemy has Yes, yes. 
William Marshall and Nicola de la Haye had saved the city, and with it, the kingdom. <laughs> 